Freedom. Wow, okay. I guess freedom to me is being able to do what I want on my own terms, being able to have dreams that are mine and also having the freedom to be able to follow them. That. Also, that's what it costs to uh, watch my videos, so uh, follow me. On some days, I don't want to be a girl boss, okay? I want to be a girl resting. I want to be a girl that's horizontal and just... What you see online is who I am. Maybe not the screaming, yelling part of it, that I'm obviously playing a character, but I think I'm very myself and I'm authentically just who I am in real life online as well. So the image you have of me in your head is probably quite accurate. I actually left YouTube when I was at my peak actually. I was doing really well on YouTube, but it just didn't make me happy anymore. I just found myself chasing numbers at a point. I was also very young. I was like 19, 20, and like those numbers were quite addictive and the highs were really high at the point. And I realized I was fundamentally changing as a person. And in my core, I believe that nothing should change who you are as a person if, if you truly love yourself that way. I was very set on living the corporate life. I wanted a nine to five. I wanted to wear power suits, strut in my heels in those corporate offices, have vacation times, have like one nice vacation home. These were my larger goals. But I think um, during the pandemic, there was no hope left, right? At least for me, I was like, this is the apocalypse. The only thing that's remaining are zombies or like some like, you know, Terminator-esque predators that are gonna attack the world. I think at that point in my life, um, um, my manager who's managed me since I was 17, he's also my best friend, he calls me and he was like, listen, like, now that you have some more free time on your hands, why don't you try like dip your little piggy toe into content creation again? And I was so adamant on not doing it. I was like, mm -mm, absolutely not. This is not for me. And then we have this weird deal where he goes, just do 10 videos, okay? And if they work, they work. If they don't, I'll never bother you again. And to prove him wrong, to, to prove that I wasn't made for social media, I made those 10 videos out of spite. Listen, take a candid picture of me laughing, okay? Like, uh. it should look naturally beautiful. Ready? Ready? I laugh. Uh. Okay, ready. <laughs> And uh, I upload that 10th video, I go to bed, wake up in the morning, um, it's blown up, right? A couple of million views. And I've, like, my phone's dead from all the notifications. And I, and I charge my phone and I see all those like ding, 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 ding. Like it's just going, it's going nuts. I think that was one of the first, that was October 18th. I hit 100,000 on that day. And then December 18th, exactly two months later, we hit a million on Instagram. And I and Instagram themselves have hadn't seen any creator grow that fast. As human beings, the bare minimum that we could do is be able to express freely. I don't even think that's a question. In fact, it's just, it should be a fact, like a blanket statement. Of course, there should be limitations with expressions that might harm others or yourself.
when they see me, they, they see that they could also do what I do, which I absolutely love. Um, we always see people in the entertainment industry as aspirational and, and something as, as people that are untouchable, unreachable, you know, they're placed on a pedestal. But when you see people make it and crush it on the internet and you see them grow from the beginning, from being an absolute girl next door to achieving the dreams that they want to, I, I think people love that. I love that. I watched a lot of people doing that and that's motivated me. And, and if I get to be that for someone, nothing like it. Hey, 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 don't like, don't, don't like. Who said you are pretty? This boy. Uh, sure, uh, sure. <laughs> sure, no. <laughs> sure, da. <laughs> right? Shy. Oh. <laughs> I grew up on the internet, no? so I, I think I experienced the trolling, the haters, all the negative comments, all of that very young and uh, I experienced it more then than now uh, because I have a larger audience that gives me more love but when you're a growing like creator, like the ratio of like people who love you and hate you can be quite competitive but, but the bigger your platform is, the bigger your audience is, the hate kind of dies down. Opinions and facts are two different things and somebody's opinion of me is not a fact and they're allowed to have their opinions too. You're allowed to not like me. I also don't like everybody in the world, right? People are allowed to have opinions. I'm just, I just know who I am and my self-worth isn't tied to a piece of content that I make. I don't really get into political, religious, or anything controversial because I feel like all of us could use a break, man. Like all of us could use just shits and giggles for some time, you know. We don't, it, it doesn't have to necessarily be intense all the time. The world's already such a dark place and it's already difficult to get through a day. So, if I could add a little whatever to your day, I would love that.